टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस ऑन द टॉपिक हाउ टू कैलकुलेट इनकम फ्रॉम हाउस प्रॉपर्टी फॉर फाइलिंग इनकम टैक्स रिटर्न इनकम फ्रॉम हाउस प्रॉपर्टी इज वन अमंग द टैक्सेबल हेड्स ऑफ इनकम एज पर द इनकम टैक्स एक्ट इट कॉन्स्टिट्यूट्स द इनकम अर्न फ्रॉम ए प्रॉपर्टी बाय इट्स ओनर प्रॉपर्टी हेयर बाय रिफर्स टू एनी बिल्डिंग हाउस ऑफिस बिल्डिंग गोडाउन फैक्ट्री हॉल शॉप एक्सेट्रा और एनी लैंड अटैच टू द बिल्डिंग सच एज गैराज गार्डन कार पार्किंग स्पेस प्ले ग्राउंड एक्सेट्रा दिस इज द ओनली हेड ऑफ इनकम विच टैक्स इज नोशनल इनकम द टैक्सेबिलिटी मे नॉट बी नेसेसरली बी ऑफ एक्चुअल रेंट और इनकम रिसीव्ड बट द पोटेंशियल इनकम विच द प्रॉपर्टी इज केपेबल ऑफ ईल्डिंग लेट्स अंडरस्टैंड हाउ टू कैलकुलेट इनकम फ्रॉम प्रॉपर्टी इन वेरियस सिनारियोज फॉर इनकम टैक्स पर्पजेस income from house property shall be determined in the following manner now most important thing in this table is to calculate gross annual value rest is easier gross annual value is the amount at which we can expect the property to be let out and earn an income this is the rent a similar property will earn in the same neighborhood also called as fair rent or we can use the municipal valuation if that is available municipal value is a system adopted by various municipal corporations in which the gross annual rent of the property is fixed by municipal body and taxes would be levied based on the estimated value not all states have this value available so please check with your municipal corporation if they have put such value on your property higher of these two will be your gross annual value if the property is not rent out when it is actually rent out the highest of fair rent municipal value and actual rent is the gross annual value unless there is a loss due to vacancy now there is one more twist if however rent control act applies to your property gross annual value cannot exceed the standard rent under the rent control act rent control act is enforced in various states such as maharashtra where court can fix a standard rent of a property and permitted increase each year so gross annual value is higher of fair rent and municipal valuation if property is not rent out subject to maximum of standard rent but if property is rent out and actual rent is higher than any of these three then gross annual value will be the actual rent do remember loss due to vacancy can be deducted from the income from house property municipal taxes are the tax payable by the owner these are levied by the local authorities with respect to house property owned these are deductible when they are paid by the owner deductions under section 24 are standard deduction and interest on the home loan standard deduction is 30% of this value and this deduction is for any repair work which might have taken place and is a flat deduction irrespective you have spent money on your property or not this deduction is on the interest you are paying for the home loan you have taken for the construction repair or reconstruction of the property more details in our section 24 video let's understand all this with some examples we are taking same scenarios as mentioned in income tax website In the first scenario rent is higher of fair rent and municipal value but with maximum limit to standard rent but actual rent is 144000 which is more than the standard rent and hence will be taken as gross annual value municipal taxes are deducted and hence net asset value is this now standard deduction of 30% is deducted from this and assuming no home loan is taken income from house property will be this much In the second scenario here the ideal rent should be higher of these which is rupees 2 lakhs as standard rent is higher but actual rent is 18000 into 12 which is 2 lakh 16000 and this is higher than 2 lakhs so should be taken as gross annual value but there is one month rent loss due to vacancy and hence rupees 18000 should be deducted from this and therefore final gross annual value is 1 lakh 98000 municipal tax is calculated based on actual tax paid and not actual tax due so here even though tax due is rupees 40000 person has paid 80000 and hence this amount will be deducted from gross annual value to get net annual value 
and after the standard deduction this will be income from house property. In the third scenario, property doesn't come under Rent Control Act and hence ideal rent should be higher of these which is rupees 2.4 lakhs. But actual rent is 21,000 into 12 which is rupees 2,52,000 and is higher than the fair rent and should be taken as gross annual value. But there is 6 month loss due to vacancy and therefore 21,000 into 6 should be deducted and therefore final GAV is 1,26,000. Now after deducting the actual municipal tax paid we come at net annual value and after deducting standard deduction this will be income from house property. Now let's discuss the scenario when you own one self-occupied house property. If you are using your property for residence throughout the year and it's not let out or used for any other purpose, in such a case the gross annual value of the property is nil. There is no income from your house property. But if you have taken the loan, you can still claim the deduction under interest on borrowed capital which for example is rupees 1.5 lakhs. So your income from house property will be basically loss due to house property which in this case will be rupees 1.5 lakhs. Let's discuss one more scenario where a portion of one property is rent out and remaining portion is self occupied. In this case the unit which is self occupied will have no gross annual value. Income from rent out unit will be computed and taxed. You will be allowed to deduct interest on home loan for this house as well. Let's see by way of an example. You have a house which has two units. First unit suppose ground floor is self occupied by you and used fully for residential purpose. Second unit suppose which is a first floor has been rent out. Rupees 8000 is the rent received per month. Fair rent of the property is rupees 6000 per month. Taxes paid to municipality are rupees 10,000 and rupees 40,000 is the interest on home loan to construct the property. Now let's see the calculations. All values in unit 1 will be 0 as discussed earlier except this. Here it will be taken as 50% of total interest paid as 40,000 is the interest paid on total property. In unit 2, Gross annual value will be Rs 8000 rent multiplied by 12 which is Rs 96000. Municipal tax paid will be deducted from this but only 50% of total tax paid. And hence net annual value is this. Then after deducting 30% standard deduction and rest 50% of total interest paid, final income from house property will be sum of these two values which is Rs 23700 in this scenario. Now next scenario is what if property is rent out for some months of the year and rest of the month it is self occupied. In this case income from house property will be calculated as if property has been rent out for whole of the year. Also remember the time when the property was self occupied will not be considered as a loss due to vacancy. Now there are few more scenarios which can be discussed when the person has more than one house property which we will discuss in detail in part 2 of this topic. That is all we have in this part. If you have any question please do write in the comment section below and do not forget to subscribe to our channel for more such videos. Have a great time ahead.